Imagine this. A bathroom, public bathroom floor. Just piss dookie all over the ground, bro. And then you bring a fucking sprinkler and make that shit wet. Mmm. That's where we're fighting today's episode. Today's episode should be insane. It's going to be a crazy bathroom fight to make sure Tezon can't kick. But it turns out he's slapping us around. He, he can actually use her fist too. Are we cooked? I don't know. Let's figure it out today. A real fight. Episode 8. Non-stick shoes. Sorry, sticky shoes. How is he doing this? Of course not. He's a real dude. I don't really know what he's doing, but it looks like he's like moving, like sweeping his feet with the water on the ground to remove the excess fluid while making sure he has some sort of like pivot on the ground. This is this is uh Kyle talking, right? This this is ding. It, it, it's the chat, right? You gotta win, bro. Okay, it landed. It landed, but that works. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so gross, bro. I hate public bathroom. It's just, oh, just even put your elbow on the top of it and like, eh. <laughs> like a name technique. It's so tuny. I don't think it's working, bro. Wait! Could he have a reason for shouting out every time? Hmm, maybe he's gonna keep yelling calf kick, condition him, right? Because, oh shit, he's saying calf kick. I guess another kick is coming, but the last one is gonna be like a tackle or a punt. And he's gonna be like, what? Exactly, like that. <laughs> calf tackle? <laughs> hand placement is that now i'm not a i'm not a fighter right i don't know how to tackle a person but like i feel like the hand placement's a little and then what what's the vital focal point knees double regu twacko oh shit he's down now what Punch him! Ah, uh, Snapper, why'd you say that, man? You just took him fucking out to flag. We're not gonna win now, bro. Just because you said that. Tam's gonna get out of this. Then what should we do? <laughs> you know what I'm doing? I'm fucking smashing his fucking dick. Call me a fucking pussy. I don't care. I'm trying to fucking win a street fight. I'm going to crush his fucking nuts right now while I have the chance and get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> Rules? Morals? <laughs> ethics? It's a street fight. Okay, call her. <laughs> Is this a kind of chokehold? <laughs> Oh, that's what that training was. I thought he was training his core here or something, just like ten like clenching it, but like that grip was for this. That gorilla grip. Cross choke and the carotid artery is like the most important one or something, right? And if there's no blood flow going to the brain, bro's gonna pass out. And if we can just hold this, we should win. 10 seconds. He almost had it. He almost had it. But after the tackle, you need to be on top of him to make sure his legs are like locked in, right? You need to make sure that you're on top of him, literally mounting. Not in that kind of way, but to limit his movement. We fucked up. We're cooked. 
Ken Kotokaku Dai, it is you know, another we may have gotten worked up. Shoshi Shade Areva Rodo, you could it. Whatever Bakada, Aretaki Hishini Renshu Stanoni, Hikaketska, Tarimi Kyoto Rete, Kihono Seo Kuzi. So what now? Maybe we have a second technique after this. <laughs> what? He did? Oh, oh, it was the, oh, it was the fucking shoes for the grip. Are, are you on our team? Hold the amount of fucking backseating from Gal, our fucking editor. Like, holy shit. I, I, I get it. You're, you're right. But like, goddamn, are you on our team? Yeah, lucky their shoe size are the same. We're so cooked, dude. It's fucking over. But hey, this is better than what I expected because sometimes what they do with these shit is like set up a fight in the previous episode and have a cliffhanger. And once the fight happens next episode, it's like resolved in the first five and the rest is just like set up filler. But like, they're still going with this. We are fucking cooked. No more sticky shoes. Our hits didn't do shit. He's, he knows all our moves now. Calf kick, tackle. What are we going to do? We're done. Oh shit. Oh my god. This, how many how many Adidas tracksuits do these people have? Moonsung looking like a fucking main character as usual, but bro, the fucking all just full fucking Adidas tracksuit. Is he watching the fight yet? She's getting a little jealous. This could actually work in her favor. Now it's we're being a dick, right? Not on purpose, because we got so insecure and embarrassed that we forgot to even text her back. But I feel like the silent treatment is building up some kind of meter. And the meter is very delicate. Once it reaches full, then, you know, she's at this point where if we make a move, I think she's going to fold even harder. But if we go beyond that, she might get too upset and leave us. Look at that pout. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> fucking the most average, you know, webtoon fucking pose. Maybe Bomi's gonna chat, bro. If we need the cliche of the heroine, you know, powering up the main character during a fight with a speech, what is she gonna do? She's not there. She's gonna fucking type in chat. Fucking Bomi chat. You can do it, Hoban. Fucking super chat donation. <laughs> super chat donation <laughs> from Bomi, dude. And then they're like, and then Snapper will be like, yo, super chat dono. And Hoban's like, what? Thank you to my fans! And <laughs> I could see something like that, maybe. Yo, I can't believe she's holding that pose. He's totally having a breakdown, lol. The shoe fits? Motherfucker, you, you, you better not fucking stall, bro. You, you motherfucker. Last episode was an entire episode of just training. You better not have fucked us over like this. I need my payoff. I think he's about to just like dog as a... I think he's about to like bow his head down. <laughs> Fuck the power of friendship. Power of money. <laughs> this is a snapper being like, you can do it. You can do it, Hope it. I believe in you. It's like, Hope it. Think about the ad revenue. I mean, shit. All right, we're back, baby. Behold the power of money. Money makes the world go around. Now, you know what will be insane? Which I don't think is true. But what if he's stalling and intentionally looking like he's losing the fight to make... The chat feel like, oh shit, can he do it? Can he not? Right? Also, it pads the watch time. More ad revenue. Maybe this is all calculated from Hoban's side. I don't think he's really there yet. But I could, like, this could evolve into kind of a show, some kind of fight, where he could, like, end up, like, sandbagging and act, like, almost like, oh my god, is he gonna lose? And it's like, chat, y'all gotta fucking donate. Please support Hoban right now with your super chats. Then people will donate, and then once enough people have spent their money and they hustle them, then the fight is over, because he could have won from the beginning. They could have that kind of fucking hustle going on. Okay. Will he, though? 
Will he though? I mean, that should be the pivot, right? That distance, bro. We can't even reach. Even Chicken Man saying it's impossible. Well, you're the main character. Do something. To survive. Run away. It's over. It's over. Holy shit, bro is looking like fucking Ganondorf holding down that fucking stomp move, bro. Holy. Oh! Oh! Even Chicken Man's commentary is like, it's over. It's over. We're cooked. It's over. <laughs> I feel like maybe like I don't know if like if you're like recording something and something bad happens you should probably like turn the cam away or like out of respect for someone right <laughs> but like snapper falls to his fucking knees screaming no while still making sure my <laughs> he's just making sure he's still in frame just making sure Hoban just like you know being knocked out is on stream right now bro brute you gotta respect the fucking commitment the true fucking commitment dude <laughs> Maybe we're faking it right now. Should we just do viral hit again with this guy? Instead of Hoban fucking the fights up, we could just have this guy beating shit people. But that's not fun though. The whole fun part of viral hit is because Hoban is like such a normal average looking dude that just, you know, Pulls aggro from strong dudes and he somehow wins, right? That's the whole appeal. An amateur kid that people didn't really think could ever fight but gave them hope and he's doing it. And it's inspiring to see someone like him grow. Him beating people up, it's kind of expected. So it's kind of boring. I don't think the channel would be the last long if we did that. Oh shit, he's up. He's up, he's up, he's up. Oh fuck, dude. He's looking like Rock Lee after the fight, knocked out unconscious, still up. The core. Wait, it might not be over, guys. This <laughs> is pretty genius. You ever like go get chased by a big mob of mo monsters in like a game and you're like ah shit what do I do and you find a corridor a narrow corridor with a door so only few can pass through and you're like alright you're, you're just gonna camp the fucking door now? It's it's smart right? Like if, if this is the only passes then the the range of the kicks it's pretty limited. <laughs> The better bathroom fight. Dude, look at that. Even Snapper is saying, is money really that important to you? Someone that is so thirsty for fucking money, no matter what. He's even saying putting it down and Hoban's still going. What is this song? He said the line! For your friends? What is it? I mean, we got a hype song playing background too. Oh shit, he's spinning! Oh! This time we got him! Legs mounted properly! Choke! Choke! Yes! Bomi, you watching? Oh, even Moonsong. Bro, even Moonsong, he's watching like... He is the chosen one! A baseball choke, it's different! The underestimated part. That's actually insane, bro. Barely, not even 170 centimeters. Bro is like, what, like five foot five or some shit? He's fucking 50 kilograms, like dripping wet, bro. Barely even 100 pounds. Taking this dude out? No one would expect it. Oh, we're done. Yeah, it's over. We won. Oh, wait. 
finished. Did he also get choked out with a baseball? No, 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 no. It's, it, I, the pose like this, but the whole event right now is reminding him of what the, the events that happened before he, I guess, quit, right? The narrator is really hyping this shit up. Who is the narrator right now? It might be a little bit funnier if Chicken Man was doing the narration using his Gaijin Japanese. No, no. Because, like, you are trained to win no matter what. And the tapping out is like, I give up, right? For your body to instinctively resort to tapping on, even though your mind is saying no, right? But, like, is Hoban gonna let go? Damn! Dude, he's still holding the chokehold! Whoa, 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 Yeah, it was all over. He's not letting go. Or he might die. Taehyun might die. I don't, like, the tap out exists so that motherfucker doesn't pass out and then literally, like, like, gets choked out and then continues to have no oxygen going through, right? <laughs> exactly, we're committing murder on camera right now. <laughs> Yo, Sam, maybe we shouldn't record this? There's no referees. He, he doesn't know. Hope this is just like Gorilla Grip Death Instinct right now. Yo, Snapper, stop! Oh, he's not letting go. He's not letting go. He's counting the 10, right? <laughs> Blame Chicken Man. <laughs> chicken Man told us to murder. No, it's not Chicken Man's fault. But in this kind of situation, life or death situation, where you have one fucking chance, you're not gonna let go, right? You're gonna hold it as far as you fucking can. Now he should be passed out, but not dead. He should be passed out, not dead, right? Check his pulse. Oh shit. Yeah, you did. So he did get, you know, uh, he lost by a baseball choke last time too, huh? Double humiliation. Double cucked. Is this the limit of Taekwondo? Is it useless in the MMA? what I say, guys? Taekwondo ain't no fucking real. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The, the applications of kicking is good. Woo! Boonsung. Boonsung is the one that took out Taesung before. Oh! Oh! That's Moonsong, bro. Don't you see? It's hard for you guys to see. That's my man! That's my man, Moonsong, right there, dude! That's him! The, the fucking story, it just. What? Small world! Okay, he's alive, he's alive, he's alive. He's alive. He's alive. We can't just leave him like this. Yeah, you're right. Let's loot him. Take his jeans, take his jacket, strip him naked, take his wallet, take his wads, take his shoes, sell everything. Uh, hey guys. <laughs> I'm trying to loot you, but I think they're actually trying to save you. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wait. The sportsmanship provided here. Maybe he'll be reminded of how Tesla, how Moonsong also kind of offered that sportsmanship, right? He was like reaching a hand out, then he'll remember that moment, then he'll see Hoban, and then he's like, ah, you're not so bad after all. Then we're friends! Maybe. Oh, the watch! That was like important to him. It must be like a very important gift. <laughs> Such a good guy. I would have fucking pocketed that watch, sold it off. Like, it would have already been sold off. You know Konosuba, you know how Kazuma, you know, stole Mitsurugi's Cursed Sword Graham? Like, I would have just already sold it off by the time he was like, where's my watch? <laughs> Is that a bitch slap? <laughs> he can't be honest, can he? Yeah, he's a bit of a tsundere, huh? Tesong is a tsundere. <laughs> hey, Tehun, say thank you. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna start hanging in my closet too. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> what are you fucking saying? <laughs> Thor, thank you for the two gifted tier one subs. I appreciate it, my man. <laughs> Next day, newspaper. Local man found hanging in his closet, dead. <laughs> Someone make a fan club, lol. What a long day. Thanks for giving me courage again. 
that's the beauty thing about viral hit, right? It's like people getting inspired from Hoban putting him himself through these crazy, you know, tribulations and succeeding. Okay, what? What, what, what the fuck is happening right now? Wait, what, 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 what is happening right now? The soundtrack changed? Where is this light coming from? They don't miss a beat. They don't miss a fucking beat. Bro, they were ready for the sponsored anime. Amazing. Amazing, bro. And look at the look. Look and here's the thing. Look at this logo of the active aura, and look at his T-shirt. Look at his T-shirt. They were wearing sponsored T-shirt the entire time. Holy fuck! I didn't even realize. Holy fuck! He was ready the entire fucking time. <laughs> Hashtag ad. <laughs> Is this really the right time for them? Girls are sure to like. Number one body spray for when the manly body spray brings out your riz, guys. Brings out your riz. A refreshing scent that attracts women. Complete deodorization of annoying sweat. Just one quick spray after exercise. A must-have for every successful guys. Guys, are you unsuccessful or successful? If you're successful, you need to buy this. <laughs> Good job. That was a fucking dub episode, man. She sits like L. Insert the ad right here. <laughs> it's looking like she's using DaVinci Premiere. I actually don't know. It could be Adobe too, but I like to use DaVinci Resolve for my editing. Does she care? Oh, look at this thumbnail. I went mano a mano, bold red with the Taekwondo fighter and dot 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 question mark. Even the thumbnail itself, right? It's supposed to like, and, th and I do this bad. Like I, I should be making better thumbnails to elicit some kind of thing. But the point of a thumbnail is to obviously grab the audience's attention and make it clickable. But something that really makes it even more clickable is if the title and the thumbnail kind of like tells a story, not through just the pictures, but with captions too. If you see something like this and you see Hoban getting kicked down and he's almost looking like he's losing, it's like, oh my God, what's happening? Then you have the title saying, you know, I went mano a mano with the Taekwondo fighter. It's gonna get the audience kind of excited. And then the title could be something like, I can't believe this happened, dot, 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 or some shit like that. Three mil, <laughs> With the ad bottles, bro. The thank you from him is always so funny. 190K sub. Invite tragedy, why? Because people like actual trained fighters will see this and be like, hmm, this motherfucker wants to really fight. I'll show you a fight. The stronger enemies will appear because of this. I mean, that's great for content. All right, that's the episode. I don't think I can watch this because this is preview stuff. And that is it from me, guys. Wow, today's episode probably go on the great if not peak on our vibe tier list today's episode was truly a payoff episode from start to end full fight i'm glad they didn't fucking end it in like the first five minutes and had the rest of it being something else man i thought he was actually gonna win in the first cross choke but then it turns out bro didn't know how to mount properly because obviously this is his one of his first like actual fighting right so you gotta get on top and do that but Tesong fucking knew and he even let us get tackled but the thing is he thought that we could never beat him, right? He thought that you are not a threat. So I'm going to play with my food. And when you have that, you know, win condition of them underestimating, sometimes a miracle can happen. Born out of fucking sheer will and determination for his friends, maybe for the money. And he just enters in, just like a solo bathroom stall, fucking jumps on top, gets him down. And then the baseball choke, which is the same move that Moonsong did before. They fought together before and he ended his career. What a small world. And I'm sure Moonsung also knows because he's an avid fan of, you know, Viral Head and he watched that fight. He knows who Taesong is. And if he saw this, I'm sure his expectation for Hoban's going to grow bigger and bigger. And there must be a moment when we actually fight Moonsung, right? But that's probably in the future. Wonder what we're going to do with Bomi. Feels like we're kind of neglecting her, right? 
not intentionally, but we need to, you know, hit her up in this delicate time period. And also this ad segment was so fucking amazing. Maybe we'll get back to Bowie next episode or something with her, you know, with their dubs. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.